hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to trade with candlestick psychology so let's start now this is gbp nzd yeah the major trend is uptrend and the minor uptrend so let me check a level so i always trade with levels okay There's a reversal area here. So I know there's a reversal area. A reversal area. And this one also a level, a resistance level. Okay, a strong can be broke the level, so I'm going to place a call option. I place a call option because I can see a strong reversal candlestick followed by a strong bullish momentum and it broke this level so that the, that means the buyers want to go more up okay so okay yeah the next level is here so the buyers will reach this level and let me check again okay and this one also so the buyers will reach this area here so let's see if they don't reach that level i will trigger them and this market also will trigger them okay so i'm going to place a a call option i place a call option here because it broke the level previously a strong level and a strong bullish candle and the a continuation sign so the next level is here that means the buyers will continue to this level and the trend is uptrend that's why i place a call option okay you can see it got rejected from that, that level you can see now you can see some seller entry here you can see a strong seller entry so after this candle, the next candle will be bearish. Okay, so. So now I'm going to place a, a put option. I place here a put option because the from this level i can see a strong bearish candle a weak bias previously also i can see a rejection a weak bias a weak bullish it means that buyers are weak here that means the sellers will form a bearish candle that's why i place put option okay don't worry to close as a bearish so the sellers are trying to create their weeks But I can see a minor bullish trend, but this candle cannot stop them because it's in the middle of the trend. It's in the middle of the trend. So now I'm going to place a call option. I place a call option here because there's a level here, and I can see rejection from bias and previous strong bullish momentum. It, there's a new high in the market it means that the buyers will continue okay so the bearish candle is a retracement candle in the middle of the trend so the buyers will continue the buyers will continue they will even break that level okay So I will stop trading. I will stop trading now. This my this will be my last trade. Okay. You can see. Okay, you can see all my four trades are high TM. Okay, I didn't observe this. 
I didn't observe that I'm using four dollar. You can see my profit is low. Okay, I place call option here because there's a level here. There's a level previously, and I can see a strong bullish candle, a re strong reversal candlestick followed by a bullish momentum. It broke the levels. That means the buyers will continue. That's why I placed call option. And this one also, I place a call option because previously the market broke this level. Previously, a strong bullish candle followed by a continuation sign and the uh, uptrend. It means that the buyers will continue to this level because the next level is here. Okay. And this one I place put option because from this level, from this level, I can see a strong rejection from sellers. And this is a weak bullish candle. Previous candle also is a weak bullish candle with a rejection from sellers. So the buyers are weak here. Yeah. That means the sellers will form a bearish candle. That's why I place a put option. And here I place call option because of this strong bullish movement and a new high and a rejection from buyers from this level so from here the buyers will form a bullish candle that's why i place a call option okay this same way you can place your trade with confidence okay you can see i didn't observe that my mount is low i'm using four dollar okay if you like my video like share and subscribe thank you